Hi, this is Dr. Proactive Randy Gilbert, producer of InsideSuccessRadio.com, and I invite you to take a moment and listen to this powerful interview segment so you can be more proactive and successful. Let's return to the Path to Triumph with the Inside Success Show. Welcome back to the Inside Romance Success Show. This is Kevin Decker, host of the show, and today I'm talking with Kim Marshall, author of The Great Sex Secret. Kim, um, folks, if you're listening, um, this is the second segment of the show. If you skip the first segment, you, sex segment, you may not have heard the, the disclaimer, we are talking about sex. We are going to be using clinical terms to describe sex, and if that makes you squeamish or uncomfortable, please stop listening now. But if you want to hear great information about how you can keep your intimate relationships passionate for the long term, please listen. Kim, let's start out with the biological challenges here. You talked a little bit about this, a bit about before the break, the fact that we're just not physically designed for mutual satisfaction. That's, that's certainly correct. In the early days of researching this book, I've been working on this book for eight years now, doing a lot of reading, sharing drafts with people from my wife, my children as they grew up, uh, became college age, and, and other friends, a circle of about 35 critical friends, and did more and more reading. It became it, blindingly obvious that, that, with, that our bodies are set up for one-sided sex. So, you know, one question you might ask is, so what was God thinking? Uh, what was going on here? Is this a mistake? And at the end of the book, I come back to that and I say, absolutely not. It's actually kind of a clever design. But th- but what people have been dealing with through the ages for thousands of years is is that if they go about it in a straightforward fashion, the man will be satisfied, the woman will be titillated, perhaps excited, but not really satisfied. And that that's just unfair. Uh, so <clears throat> I think the, the, the starting place uh, is is to accept that and then deal with it. And uh, the, the, the core of the book, chapter six in the book, is really about the three solutions that, that couples have worked out over the years, I think with very very little help from the experts, because the experts have not started off putting that one on the table. Look, guys, this is the way it's going to be unless you communicate, unless you talk to one another, unless you really understand uh, that, that you've got to do more than straightforward sex. You know, it, it is just doing a little bit more, and it's probably not a lot more, um, it's 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 just a lot of people think something's wrong, and that's right. not right, is it? Right, and usually they think that something's wrong with the woman. Um, oh, of course, and, and that it's is, her fault. That's very unfortunate. And, and you know, in Freud's time and, and back in the 19th century, women were considered actually to be sick, you know, to be to be hysterical, to be crazy, to be inadequate, to be undersexed, all these other words when when they couldn't have an orgasm during intercourse. And, and, and that, that wasn't the problem at all. The problem was that, that, that their major source of sexual pleasure, the clitoris, was not being touched at all, or only a little, or not enough, or not in the right way. Got it. Now, Sex in the City was a big hit. I know there were Sex in the City viewing circles, etc. And Samantha, the vixen in that series, wrote a book that confessed that she was sexually unsatisfied for most of her adult life. Now, of course, that's not what she portrayed in the television show. Why would someone who clearly seems to be enjoying sex and portray that in this TV series for men and women everywhere be so frustrated? Well, I guess she was doing a good acting job in the show. <laughs> and, and, and that's the problem in, in almost every portrayal you see of sex on television, in movies, and in pornography. It appears to be this effortless thing for the woman. Look, ma, no hands. You know, just the, the, the kind of thing that, that Samantha Jones constantly portrayed in Sex in the City. Whereas Kim Cattrall, the real woman who played her in this book, this, this extraordinary book, Satisfaction, that she wrote, and was very expensive kind of coffee table told told the story of her, her of her real life, which is the story of many, many women that that, that in their real life uh, it does not work that way. And mm-hmm. it makes it even worse when they see on television women effortlessly, you know, orgasm off their orgasm, everything is great, no, no hands, nothing is going on here. It just happens. It makes mm-hmm. them feel inadequate, and that's unfair. 
It, it is unfair. It, it's it's unfair for men and women because men have this expectation of women that they're going to be having fun, and it's it's um, not just that, working that way. Right. Um, now, in your book, you talk about the fact that ancient books. I mean, from from antiquity, books have been written. The the Jewish halakha and the Chinese Tao sex manuals say that a man must bring his partner to climax. Hi, this is Dr. Proactive, Randy Gilbert. Thank you for listening to InsideSuccessRadio.com. Now I want to invite you to listen to this entire interview for free. All you have to do to get VIP access is to type in the link as you see it below. In addition to this powerful interview, you'll be able to hear many other of your favorite celebrities such as Jack Canfield, Mark Victor Hansen, Robert Allen, Zig Ziglar, and dozens of others. Plus, there are thousands of dollars in valuable bonus gifts.